Yannick, I will absolutely give you a shout out if you win <laughs> today. Whoever gets a win will get a shout out today. I started the stream a little bit early, but um, as you'll quickly find out, I don't quite know what I'm doing with the online racing for GPL, so <laughs> it's going to be a little bit of an experiment. I will be upfront and honest that there may not be a race today uh, because get the cam going might not be an actual race today because I'm, I'm kind of an intruder here for the uh, the league that's racing got invited to join but only if there's open spots there have been open spots for the past few weeks so we'll see but um, should be uh, should be an interesting thing nonetheless I've, I've not really done online racing with uh, GPL before so we should be uh, uh, it should be an interesting race. Um, so I'm gonna jump in. They're doing a practice right now. So I'm gonna jump in and uh, and do a little bit of that and see, make sure everything's working correctly. <laughs> yeah, so today we're racing at Goodwood um, in the F2 cars, the 1967 F2, uh, which should be, should be good. Just jumping on the server now. So I should be able to turn some practice at least, uh, and if everything works out, do a little bit of a race. I was in a practice earlier. I have no idea if everybody else is um, like trying, <laughs> first of all, or like pushing hard or anything, but uh, I was like fifth quickest out of maybe 10 people, so should be somewhat competitive. Um, these guys are really good at GPL, so this will uh, definitely put me in my place today. Take a quick look. Got race fuel and everything on. I'm not really optimizing for qualifying. I'll try that out when the qualifying, if if I do the qualifying and everything. Just wanna check out, make sure my sound is good. Yeah, it should be good. So, I'm racing the uh, Brabham today. Uh, we'll get out and do a few laps of practice. Uh, this is the Brabham F2 car from 1960. Uh, seven. The way this league works is you have to uh, pick a different car each week, and so I get a little bit of a, a little bit of luck that I get to pick exactly the one I want since it's my first first ever race with this league. But um, obviously not always that way. I've got some of the stuff up on the screen for online. I feel like I need to uh, need to know a little bit what's going on <laughs> around me and and lap times and all that. So. We're racing with a bit of a HUD today. And I've done a couple hours of practice at Goodwood. I know Goodwood pretty well. Um, this version for GPL just came out not too long ago, actually. And uh, very nice circuit. It's the classic Goodwood circuit, of course. It was pretty much abandoned for top-level motorsports in 1966. I think uh, there was some new mandates put in place that said you had to install certain chicanes and move certain barriers, all that stuff that uh, ultimately saved a lot of lives. Goodwood didn't really want to do that, so they opted to be more of a club track. And so this exact layout remains till today. There is a chicane here, a very treacherous one, uh, right at the end of the lap, but it's uh, been here since the 1930s, and it's very odd because it has these huge walls. Oh, as I cloud the inside one. I gotta avoid doing stuff like that during the race. But those big brick walls give you a tough time. A lot of long corners here too, so the braking points are a little ambiguous. <laughs> Turn-in points are a little odd. So far I think there's 12 drivers in in these sessions, so can max out at 19. So there's still hope yet that I'll be racing. We got a car running wide. One thing you'll notice too, so if you've never seen GPL online, it's an older sim, and I think um, a few of the online things show with this. It's, uh, you know, the, the net code, we'll call it that, is, is less superior to modern sims. Super raceable, still a ton of fun not disparaging it at all, but it's one of the things you gotta be careful about. A lot of folks have reminded me, you, know, you can't really get super close to another driver without getting an incident. So passing, especially on a track which is narrow, is gonna be really hard. You'll see the cars jump around a little bit too. It's part of the quirkiness of the old sim. 
so rounding out pretty slow lap here I think I got into the 18s in uh, the first practice a little earlier today which again put me midway through the field but I don't know I don't know how hard everybody was pushing that was a 120 more just in it for the experience so I've done pretty much no online racing. Up until this week, I had never done an online GPL race. I cheated a little bit and went ahead and did one on Thursday night with the Lopin League. Shout out to Lou for uh, helping me out with that. They're a fun league that just uh, does some races every Thursday since 2002. And I was invited or saw it live. I actually went to go practice for this and I saw they had a session, jumped in and everybody was super welcoming. Great crew. They said it's the best bar that you'll ever go to, and <laughs> I have to agree somewhat. But that was fun. I uh, raced around Montchouit in this car, so I got a little extra seat time here. I think there is an option, Bob, to add um, AI to online races, but these guys do it all real. So this is, from what I can tell, one of the more hardcore leagues a lot of rules about exiting your car only in the pit lane and um, doing specific specific things to uh, make sure the experience is preserved. I like that idea quite quite a lot. I'm a little nervous that I'm going to break some of the rules. I already broke one. Uh, this is the OAO League, and I believe they're in an off season right now, which is why I've gotten the opportunity to drive with them. You normally have to be part of the league. You got to be signed up with a team, I think, and all this stuff. Um, they're doing an off-season series right now, which is one of the reasons I've been allowed to come in, as long as there's some room left. Cars getting all kinds of sideways in front of me. Tough to know somewhat if uh, tough to know somewhat if, if it's the net code or actually the cars jumping around. Yeah, stream quality looks okay for me, so. I know the other day I had a little bit of a problem with it, but everything is working as far as I can tell. Obviously, online racing, I'm not going to be able to read the comments nearly as much, uh, but I'll try to sneak a peek in once in a while. Ooh, what happened? Okay, so they're going to do a little bit of a test start. This scared me. Um, 46 laps today. Oh, this will be a long one, guys. Uh, okay. <laughs> I've been practicing with half race fuel, uh, fuel then. Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit of a practice start off the line. Let me jump my fuel way up to 16 gallons. So I'm gonna be starting in the back here for this test start, but this is a good idea just to see, prepare myself for the actual race. Yes, yeah, fun blade, I gotta get in the car. I already broke one of the rules in the first session, first practice session. I uh, stayed on the pit lane. Flag is up, down. We're underway. Oh, getting bogged down in second. That's a bad mistake. I did that the other night, too. Come to the first corner. Tentatively, I'll come around the outside here. Goal is to really make it through the start. car alongside of me. I'll let him have that. Oh, a car flying around. Of course, real damage on, so if I hit something, it's going to be likely race over. Whoa, this is a terrible start. Cars flying everywhere. But somehow making it through, sliding a little bit there. I don't think I've got anybody directly next to me. Somehow my bottom left display has changed to uh, it's supposed to be the where I am on the track with everybody else. Kind of like the F3 window in like iRacing, but I don't know what happened to that. All right, so I did make it through the first lap. Well, I will say, <laughs> not to speak too soon, this car is spinning off everywhere in front of me. All right, I think I made it through the first lap. different kind of uh, difficulty compared to last week when I did the full offline season. <laughs> There's just a little bit of chaos here. Up to sixth. So what? I gained six positions off the start. 
let's say all skill, all 100% skill positions there. Alright, we'll come down here to the difficult corner on the circuit. A little bit of a trick, go fourth to second. Can't do that in a modern car. Now can we? Well, that car went off there. Hopefully able to get around him. I was. Car's running all over the dirt. Ooh, I don't know if I'll be able to do anything here. Trying to sneak around the outside of this BMW, but it's very scary stuff. Whoa! <laughs> I don't know if you saw in the mirrors, but a car flying out wide on fire. Mr. Jittery in front of me here. Alright, down to second gear through the chicane then. So I don't know how long this race is lasting for, but I'll use it as a practice. Whoa, getting squeezed out wide there. These guys are pretty daring. Guess I'm racing for second then. trying to do any kind of move here. Down to fourth. Down to third, down to second. On a good lap, I'll skip third there because you really don't need it. Not in these cars anyway. So I was thinking it was just a two lap warm up, but we'll see how long they uh, keep it running for. I don't think we'll do full 23 laps, I hope not anyway. Boy, this guy's spinning out in front of me, hope I didn't do anything there. I think he lost it on his own, but we'll come then across the start finish line, I think I might be in second place somehow. Everybody just parted ways in front of me. Oh, it looks like everybody is slowing down too. So obviously not a real race, a little bit of a hectic start. I don't know if everybody was finishing or what. We'll just go around slowly here. Feels like the Brabham is pretty slow from a dead stop, but once you get going, it's definitely one of the better cars. In real life, it won a lot of the races for the 67 F2 series, so I figured it would be a good, good pick. But never, <laughs> never sure with this stuff. Hopefully, the real race is a little less hectic than that. 46 laps. Got to make sure uh, everybody. Gives a little space, there we go. So session uh, session ended, I think I exit completely now. All right, so what an interesting thing that was. So I gotta, I gotta see what we're gonna do here now. So I think everybody jumps into a chat room and we'll wait to see if I actually get into the race itself. <laughs> yeah, if hopefully if you know if I don't end up racing, hopefully that was at least uh exciting enough. Put in a little music in the background here. Well, I appreciate everybody coming out. Got over a hundred people in here, which is pretty awesome. So I think there's like I don't want to speak too soon, but it felt like there was maybe 14, 16 guys in there. Hertz class, yes, it's an AT2020, a pretty old one that it had for music stuff, but it works very well for this. <laughs> I don't feel that ready either. I have to thank a couple folks though. Bo Bruce, firstly, um, I think I think he runs the league essentially, and so he uh, he first sent me an email back maybe a month ago now, asking. Uh, you know, or, or telling me about the league if I wanted to race. Told him that I'd be interested for sure. 
Uh, so he's helped me out just get everything, all the information on how to join and the rules and all that. So I appreciate that a lot. Um, I got to thank uh, Lasse, I think is how you would say his name, but he's been uh, he's been helping out quite a lot as well. Just uh, get me get me into the right chat rooms and all that. Uh, and then MK as well as uh, Yannick, everybody. So it's been been a lot of fun so far starting to uh, get into GPL online. The race the other night was uh, was pretty fun. Even that was more of a fun race. I'm, I'm expecting this to be a little more intense. Uh, if I get in. If you weren't here at the beginning, there's a chance I won't race today. It's a league. Uh, they're in their off-season. Um, however... Okay, so there's 16 drivers in chat. Uh, it's, a, it's a league, and they're in their off-season, so uh, they're letting some other people like myself come in and spoil some of the fun. Um, so there's a chance I won't get to race if the race fills up with uh, league members, but I think that's fair. I don't, I don't want to take somebody's position if they, uh, if they normally race here. Let's see if... Uh, okay, there it is. Everybody's chatting away <clears throat> in the chat. Just doing a uh, recording a video last night that'll probably go live tomorrow. Or I guess if I don't race here, I might throw it live right now, um, just to give put something up. But uh, uh, did some fun stuff in a Formula One car. Hold on, I'll pull up a little teaser shot. <clears throat> I drove, I finally did a video where I'm driving modern F1 cars, um, which might be sacrilegious for for folks that uh, watch, my, watch my videos. However, I like to think I did it in a fun way. Let me just add a quick uh, image here Gotta find the old images ah huh? oh way too big so I did a little bit of a race <laughs> yesterday video will come out either today if I don't uh, if I don't uh, race in this uh, in this online race, but uh, if not, it'll come out tomorrow. But yeah, I, uh, I adapted some modern F1 cars to race a little bit more like what uh, what I'm into. <laughs> so this should be fun. Watkins Glen with modern F1, but a couple alterations to the old uh, F1 cars. Just waiting to see who's going to be racing for this online race. I think the official race session starts just about now. So. Okay, I don't want to get too excited prematurely, but it sounds like I might race. Uh, Michael, I'll, yeah, I'll run right over to Fenway right now and grab you something. Yeah, it's been <laughs> all the racing I'm doing lately. The challenge has been jumping from car to car. It's been a little hectic. Uh, congrats, Robert. A 7.57 is a crazy impressive time with, with the BRM. All right, so it looks like I should be able to join as soon as I can see the race. Where is she? There she is. All right, let me pause this music. So I think first up, I got to uh, qualify. Hopefully I got the password right. Cross your fingers. Okay. Hey, looks like I got in. 
All right, so practice 30 minutes. I don't even know if it lasts the full 30 minutes. But I do know I need to go qualify. So I'm going to reduce the fuel in the car <laughs> to just a few gallons and see what I can do. You know, may very well finish at the back here. These guys are good at this. They're really, really fast. Um, but let's see real quick who we've got in here. Pretty full entry list. Looks like... Looks like I'm maybe the only one racing the old uh, Brabham. Jake Demaray is the name. <laughs> My real name. All right, so we'll go out for practice. Or qualifying, practice qualifying, all the same thing here, of course. And uh, hopefully I can get a couple clear laps in where I do an okay job. Maybe get ahead of a little bit of the chaos that was out there last round, or uh, the practice start. How would I feel if Hutu showed up? That'd be fun. I don't even know. Does that guy still race in iRacing? I, um, I mean... I definitely know who he is and all about him and stuff, but I didn't race GPL. This is, a, this is my first real race in GPL online, so I didn't ever race him. That would be very cool if he showed up. I don't think he plays GPL anymore. I don't, I don't know if I've seen him in any kind of simming these days. So for those of you as well that weren't here a little earlier, whoo, getting very sideways there. This is the OAO League, and they're in their off season, so they've allowed me to come in and uh, try my hand at some GPL online. It's a pretty serious league, so I'm not expecting a lot today. I don't have a ton of experience either with these F2 cars. They normally race F1 as far as I'm aware. They're very easy to run wide through the fast sweepers here. Down a fourth gear. And then on a good lap, you can shove the brakes down and get right into second there. I might just do that because it's cool, but it feels fast. Mom might also mean my gearing is really poor if I'm uh, skipping gears. Yeah, the OAO League is definitely full of what are, what are called aliens, just unreal fast drivers, and I don't think I'll be anywhere near them. I'm not a uh, not an alien. Oh, we're gonna run wide. Don't hit anything. Oh, I nosed it in the back there. Uh, I'll see if I can keep going. Come out behind this red car. I don't know if that's a Ferrari or not. I'm fairly quick on a good day, but I'm, I'm definitely not an alien. It's not, uh, <laughs> not what I get out of online racing or racing, sim racing in general. I'm never going to be that guy, but it should be pretty fun here to, uh, see how good I am. I'm a little curious myself if I'm actually fairly competent at this. I've raced enough GPL in my life. <laughs> it would be sad if I was really slow, but hopefully that's not the case. If I didn't damage anything in the back there. So far, ninth position on the leaderboard. Pretty slow time. I should be able to get under 120 easily, and then hopefully into the 118s. It's my uh, my hope. At least match what I did in the earlier practice. Oh, am I 
gonna do the same thing again. Dang. Oh, oh, stopped just short of the marshals. Now, I don't know, normally I would reset here, but I don't want to break any rules. Hopefully not getting in front of anybody there. Jump into the pits, because I gotta re reset the car. Hopefully it allows me to. Almost took out those two marshals. All right. So, not doing well so far. Oh, but 11th position. I should be able to get into the 119s. I should very much. Wow, there's 18. I'm lucky I got into this one today. All right. Trying to make sure I've got, I'm not going to hurt anybody's lap, Just leaving the pits there. Yeah, I mean, for those of you that um, might be new, to, I know i got <laughs> like 150 people in here, pretty cool. Uh, for those of you that are newer to, to myself, I, I have raced online quite a bit in uh, iRacing specifically, and I used to do, back in the day, I used to do R-Factor, but I just missed that part with uh, GPL. Came out, or when it was you know, really popular in the big online sim. I, I wasn't doing that quite yet, so I just missed doing it and uh, happy to get the chance to years later. It feels like the community that does race online for GPL are really dedicated. There's guys that have been doing this for, you know, going on 20 years plus. So pretty exciting stuff. I'm gonna try to, oh, I got a car behind me as well. Got to make sure I break plenty early for this section. Ooh, car diving off the track in front of me. Ooh. But mostly doing this for fun today. <laughs> like I said, these guys are very quick, so I'm not sure uh, there's any hope that I'm gonna be fighting for the lead or anything, but it'd be nice to see if I can get a solid race in. Also want to uh, make sure <laughs> that I'm not an annoyance to everybody. This is some folks serious sim racing, it really is, so I don't want to uh, ruin their weekly dose. There's no quick race you can just jump in after this. These guys race like once a week. So if I take somebody else out, I would feel very bad. not having any trouble with that corner all throughout practice it's that's the way it is though right <laughs> you just you do a corner a hundred times correctly and then when it comes down to it you overthink yourself or something come across the line though that should be oh, 120 flat I should be able to do better than that I'm also racing with less fuel than I'm used to you would think less fuel would make me faster it should but steering a bit there. I got a Matra behind me too. I don't want to hold them up. I'm going to a little bit by accident. Sorry. Slow down here. See if I can let them by. Raise my hand. That's the proper use of that. <laughs> Just to wave someone on by. Hugging the apex there, but that's fine. Not on a quick lap. With the tenth overall. Alright, 
down to second gear, just ease on through that chicane. See, I got some open track here, so let's see what I can do. <laughs> Try not to spin the car out there. You can put a lot of slip into these F2 cars. They're a training car, so they're, in my opinion, they're some of the easiest cars to drive in GPL. They feel much like the uh, 65 F1 cars. I think similar displacements. So, it's a good actual uh, starter car. <laughs> Using every bit of the pavement there. Everything has frozen. Not sure I've seen that before. See what I can do here. Just as I was on a quick lap too. See if I can uh, kill the app. Was I kicked by a host? Maybe I was. We'll see. Was it full? Ah, damn. Race is full. That was weird. I've never had that happen. I don't think I can get back in, unfortunately. It says race is full. I'll sit in the chat channel for a quick second, but. Hmm. Never had it. Um, oh, I might be able to get back in. Okay, let's try this. If anybody knows why it might have frozen up, if that's on me or I have, um, there was an update put out. It looks like I'm back in. Thank God. There was an update put out for the track that was like the more f online friendly, and I have that installed and everything. So, okay. Okay, so maybe I got 17 minutes. Okay, well, <laughs> if it's a track issue, I hope it doesn't happen again. 17 minutes left, let's see, I gotta jump back in the car. Wow, very happy I was able to get back in. It was giving me a uh, session full notice immediate, uh, from, the, from the start when I was trying to join. No, I actually, I was saying the other day too, GPL is like incredibly stable for an older program. I, um, racing offline, I, I really never have it crash and I play a lot of older games and uh, they crash quite often, right? Anybody that tries to get into compatibility problems and all that, they're used to it. But GPL is like solid as, as all heck. And of course, <laughs> when it counts the most, something weird happens. Hopefully that doesn't happen again, especially in the race. It's a long race, so it would be... It would be uh, way too bad for it to... Uh, to break halfway through or something. I raced online the other night for uh, two hours, and it, uh, it worked fine, so... We'll see. We'll see what I can do here. flag is just a slow car oh 
All right, so I'm P12, got a 120 flat. I should easily be able to get into the 19s. I was able to get into the 18s in my previous practice, and I was thinking I could even go quicker than that, but, you know, when it comes down to it, <laughs> that's all that matters. Well, locking up a bit there. Somehow getting the car around the corner, <laughs> using every inch here at Goodwood. So this was not such a bad lap. If I can just get through the scary chicane. Whoa, a lot of oversteer there, slowing the throttle. One nineteen four. So okay, at least getting down to what I feel like is a halfway respectable time. As always, using uh, clutch and H pattern and all that stuff, so I could probably go a little quicker with paddles, but it would just feel so wrong. corners <laughs> at least now it wasn't before Whoa. car there compromising my entry just a little bit okay Let's see what this is oh down to a 19 flat tires are nice and warm now I don't have the tire gauge on. I guess I could do that too. It looks like pole time. So this is what I mean by aliens. 117 flat. That's just not gonna happen today. Whoa, under the grass. Oh, oh and that billboard is solid. Okay. Well, I used all my, uh, all my luck and more there. My optimals, ooh, cars in front losing a tire. I'll come around, try to get to the pits again. A little bit of chaos there. My optimals down to an 18.5, so I really want to try again. I don't know, the car actually feels okay. Maybe I can uh, can do it. <laughs> Thank you, salary man. Yeah, I gotta remember to breathe for sure. 180 viewers, 200 viewers, what the hell? People really love online racing, <laughs> I guess. Hopefully the thing doesn't freeze up again. I'm just going to go for another lap because I know I hit something, but the car feels fine. Hopefully it's still quick. first sector there. No records, but can't set a record every lap. Whoa, just going a little too aggressive there. Have to get the car to slow down a lot and it's tempting to just push that push it even further. If you want to install GPL I recommend going and finding the ISO file. Really easy to find. It's basically a copy of the CD and then using the uh, GPLPS installer. That'll get you 
That'll get you most of the way there with a little fuss. All right, let me uh, give a little bit of a gap here to this car in front. Wish I had my relative up. I don't know what happened to the uh, player relative. Or get the hammer down for another lap. I think we got about 10 minutes left in this session. Got to beat up Brabham here, but I think I can do something. Over the crest. Plenty early, down to fourth, he just kind of drifted through that. He's the extra pavement, down to second. On the gas as soon as possible, that was pretty slow, I think. Oh, purple, never mind. Oh, I got a car in front of me here, hopefully I can just get around him. There we go. Is that Yannick? I don't know everybody's real name, so... 117.12, that's too quick. Alright, come across the line. This should be an okay lap, I think. Even though I got a little bit of a slow car. Ooh, an 18.3! Alright. How many more laps of fuel I have actually. Probably getting very light. We'll just keep going until it runs out, I guess. Purple in the first sector. Won't get too excited yet. for this slow corner. I'm just remembering wrestling the Napier around this circuit. Pretty much exactly the same track today. Uh, has not changed since the 60s there. This car's a little quicker than that one though. Around the turns. Hard on the brakes, just nose it in. Little car sitting upside down in the hay bales. It is full 1960s. A little slow through the chicane. All right, this might be about as fast as I can go right now. Uh, not quite eclipsing my earlier time. All right, I only got about seven minutes left, so I think uh, P8. I'm not super upset with that, especially if it's a full field. It's more than halfway up. There's a pretty incredible picture, uh, I think from 1968 or 1969, it could actually be 1970, but Jackie Stewart at Harama, just going through a, basically a, a ball of flames on the track. Um, there was a crash, I think the driver was okay. Oop, I just wanna get out of the way of this guy. But there was a, a crash and the car caught on fire and uh, you know the race continued. They, very, very rarely stopped races back in the in the 60s, 70s. Um, and there's a, a picture of him power sliding around one of the corners at Harama, and the car's like kicking up dust and smoke and everything from the fire. It's very, very insane compared to uh, with a modern modern eye. Back then, it was somewhat normal. I got a car coming up fast behind me. I want to try to get out of his way. I don't want to be that guy. Remember, this is all, uh, yeah, it was Jackie X crashing. These are uh, very, very thankful that this whole group has let me come race with them today. I am I am 100% a uh, YouTube intruder. <laughs> and so, uh, very, very nice that they uh, they all felt okay with me jumping in. And uh, was able to run a few laps there without disconnecting or anything. So hopefully that stays true. Put up the, uh, the leaderboard here. So, Jay Demaray, that's me. Uh, eighth position, 
18, 118, 3-4. I'm pretty satisfied with that. I think I could, on a good good lap, hit the 17s, but uh, I'm not. I'm not going to get to these top three. So I guess that's Yannick in, in first. He's a, another YouTuber. He makes some great videos. No pit speeds, Bob, in these days. Back in the in the 60s, there were no pit speeds, and therefore GPL also doesn't have them. You don't really use the pit lane, though. Um, in the race, all you can do is retire if you go to the pits. You can't. Uh, there is some stuff. Lee, great uh, guy in the community. Um, Lee, uh, who's a guy that does all the great stuff for, for GPL patch wise. He, uh, he's got a patch where it lets you change tires and everything, um, fuel the car as well. But in, in default GPL, you can't, uh, you can't do anything if you go into the pit lane. I realize you can't quite see everything because of my face, but I can't, uh, GPL is like really hard to stream because you, you have to play it in full screen. There's no way to play it in a window. And so I can't change anything about my stream while, uh, while it's open here. All right, I'm gonna take a very, very quick break because um, I got about four minutes and, um, and then I'll be back and uh, get ready for the race. Should be pretty frightening. Yannick is the guy on uh, P1 who's the, um, <clears throat> he does videos as well. He has a lot of like reviews and, and stuff at tracks. Should be good. Yeah, two minutes left here in the, uh, in the old session. Not really, I thought I was gonna be pretty nervous. I'm not super nervous. I really, I'm hopeful I can make it through the start because it would be pretty awesome to see just how, uh, you know, how the race plays out um, with, with real drivers and everything. Making sure I fill my fuel tank up here. Um, but yeah, I, I mostly just want to see a good start, let everybody get strung out, and then uh, and just put some good laps together. I'd be perfectly happy uh, finishing close to last place. <laughs> uh, it's fine with me. I, I just want to see what the uh, what the race is like with a full field, 19 drivers. I hope, I really hope uh, everybody that races in this league got in. Um, and that I didn't steal anybody's spot. Nothing worse than a YouTuber coming and stealing, <clears throat> stealing what is rightfully yours. I, I don't want to call myself a YouTuber. I just make, make movies once in a while. Um, also very much appreciate everybody coming in today. 200 folks. <laughs> it's pretty wild. I haven't even raced yet. We could crash out in T1. I think there's no way to reset your car or anything. So a crash is a crash. Hardcore stuff. 46 laps. That's not to be understated either. That's going to be a hell of a uh, a long race. I didn't even think about that really. <laughs> I didn't think about the race, but it's fine. I got plenty of time to do it. We'll see, the laps are about a minute 18. Should just be around an hour, I imagine. I'm gonna be starting P8 as long as uh, nobody throws in a flyer right at the end here. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Yes, I'm a GPLer. I like, uh, I like a lot of different sims, but 
mostly do the classic racing stuff on, on YouTube just because uh, there's, there's not enough of it out there. Not enough of people that uh, know actually what's, what's going on. Yeah, happy to uh, also just show this stuff because I know uh, GPL doesn't get enough credit, especially for what it was. But okay, here we go. So check my fuel one more time. 54 laps of fuel, it's gonna be more than enough. I'm not trying to eke out every uh, pound here. All right. Should be pretty good. Full field in GPL in the year 2020. I think a lot of folks would be very surprised to, uh, to see that. And uh, so much thanks to uh, Bo Bruce and uh, Lasse and MK and everybody that uh, it helped me help me get this up and running. I very much a novice with online racing with GPL, so send a quick message to everybody. Yeah, congrats Yannick as well for the poll. So this should be good. It's a real uh, real test here. Looks like I mean I'm in the middle of the swamp. <laughs> Everybody's about the same speed here. And so Looks like the field tails off a little bit, but even, you know, I was doing 119s for a lot of laps too, so those drivers maybe just couldn't get a good lap in. So I think um, I could finish fifth, I could finish uh, 18th, we'll see. <laughs> we will see. And uh, ever, cross your fingers, I don't get uh, disconnected. I've never had that happen, but you never know. First time for everything. Thanks, Ratter of Mark. It's been fun uh, now that I picked up YouTube again a little bit. See a lot of the same folks in here every single uh, video and stream and everything. Y'all are kind of crazy. I don't know how long it takes for the race session to start, but I imagine it's imminent. Yeah, sorry I can't um, I can't move my face to show the full starting grid. Uh, but it's just a way. <laughs> Probably should just get my face off the screen, but I can't change it now when I'm in the sim. Funblade, you are crazy. <laughs> Love the ambient sounds in GPL as well the crowd screaming there's one there's a good one that's been used oh here we go all right deep breath check my fuel one more time 54 laps of fuel that should be more than enough starting in the middle of, of the grid <clears throat> all right so here we are on the grid for gpl online race they spaced the grid out a little bit more uh, thank you ralph so much for that. <laughs> I haven't done anything yet. We could very well crash out T1. I really hope that doesn't happen. It'd be great to make at least a few laps. Flag is up. Down. Underway. Trying to rev the hell out of first gear because this car is very slow off the line. So we'll come to T1 then. Tentative around the outside, hoping nobody slides into me from the inside. No idea, I think I got somebody there. I'm gonna let him go. It's just very risky racing side by side in GPL. I'd rather survive here the first couple laps. In my first race, remember. <laughs> oh, I tucked in the grass there. Down to second gear. All right, made a few through the first couple corners, at least. Down to second gear, then. Behind another Brabham, Mirande. It's a long race too, so there's plenty of time. Don't need to do anything too adventurous. Car's gonna be really heavy here at the start too with all that fuel.
All right, through the chicane. So completing lap one, goal number one of the race is accomplished. <laughs> now 42 more of them. There are 45 more of them, 46 lap race here. Touching the dirt there. Car in front running a little wide. Oh. Down a second gear then. It's a nice little pack of cars here. I've got nobody immediately behind me which is nice. Maybe a BMW, a few car lengths back. Cars skirting around in front under braking. Now I'm optimistically thinking there's gonna be some incidents and as long as I can just stay running, stay clean, I'll pick up some spots, but that could very well be wrong. Everybody that races in this has been doing it for a very long time. Down a third gear then. Oh, I almost shifted into second there. I think I caught it before I over the engine. That would be bad. That would be an engine blown. Second gear, running a little wide here, but it'll be okay. Staying on the black stuff, that's the key. So, ninth position. So I lost one spot, but I gave it to that car. We we're side by side. Otherwise, holding station with where I started. So, indicative that the qualifying results, at least so far, were somewhat accurate. Sliding wide, car in front got in the dirt a little bit there. Seems to have bunched up the group. P9, you won't be able to see the pit board unfortunately. It uh, flew off the screen, but I'll call it out. We got 43 laps left. I think you can see that at the bottom of the screen. Kick of dust in the face. Ooh, yellow flag being shown for a second there. Yellow flags really mean something in this. through fifth gear then. Everyone behaving themselves so far. Driving a little bit under the limit, but it got to 42 more laps. I can't really push the car. Pascal, if you don't know this track now, you will by the end of the race. <laughs> I promise you. <laughs> oh, a car spinning out in front, jumping off the circuit. Hopefully it doesn't come back on. A little nervous about that. Getting through though, these two in front slowed up quite a bit. let it sort itself out a little bit. I got a little bit of a buffer behind me, so no need to push the issue.
down to third gear. All right, so a little craziness on that lap. Car behind me is closed up quite a bit because I pretty much let everybody sort themselves out. These two in front running wide, try to take advantage of that. Whoa, the two behind, I think there was an accident there. Saw it in my mirrors just for a second. <laughs> just escaping death. Things a little cleaner then though. Got one car in front of me. Oh, he got a little wide there and slid but then block the inside. You'll never see the AI do something like that. He's gonna run it wide though. Ha ha, able to get the position on him. All right, I got a clear track in front now. What am I up to? I don't know. We'll have to see when I come across the line. Couple errors from those in front of me though. Come to the end of the lap then. Just on the curb. Got about 40 laps to go here. Sitting in P6 then. Try not to over rev the car too much. I don't know how sensitive the engine is on this BT23, I believe it is. But we got a long ways to go, old car. All right, so I just need to get a couple deep breaths in here and let, let myself calm down. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, those in front, I was definitely being held up a little bit by that group as they all fought with each other, but I don't know how quick I'll be compared to these guys in front of me right now. I also have nothing to base my speed on, which is always a uh, little bit of an issue. I can just see them there going through the chicane, so I'm not out of touch with the group in front. I was seven seconds behind on the last lap. Now five seconds, so again two seconds there. I think they're fighting with each other though. So I'm happy getting in, completing box number two, I would say, of my online for the first time checklist. Made a few laps and <laughs> have not crashed out early, so we've got a little racing in. I think check three is get to the end of the race. Check box four, and that would be ambitious, is uh, passing more cars. Being a little easy on the entry there, but that's a high risk area of the circuit. If you run wide, there's no saving it. This is another one. Just don't want to tap anything, ruin the suspension. Still got the car behind me, Hammonds there. Jay Hammonds, he's holding on to me, so he's gonna keep me honest here. Ooh, missing the apex of T1. That's gonna lose me a little bit of time. Covering okay though. A 
feel like I'm a little up on the wheel right now. I just need to relax the car a little bit, making a lot of corrections. You want to be a little more smooth than what I'm doing here. steer shift it down a bit early down a second though all right so a bad lap there but still in the 19 so holding a decent pace I think if I can do every lap of the race in the 19s I will be very successful so sideways you can you can put a lot of angle into this thing but at some point it does give up and 21 seconds off the lead it's insane how quick some of these guys are should be interesting when we get into lap traffic hopefully I think everybody will be pretty nice about it honor the blue flags. Well, I'm really giving it something in T1 there. I got to be uh, careful about that because if I overheat the tires, it will no longer catch at some stage. So what was catchable a couple laps earlier will no longer be catchable. Quick double downshifts there. Ooh, just touching the dirt. So I only have about two and a half seconds on the car behind me, which is not quite enough to be comfortable. Let's see if I pull out a little bit on this lap. You can still just barely see those two in front once I come up to the chicane. Maybe a little bit on them. So up to three seconds now. So I'm pulling away slowly from the car behind. Slide it in here. Just <laughs> using that extra pavement for luck. Not a lot of opportunity on this track to to have a sip of coffee or anything. Still pretty early in the morning for me here in Boston. Or I guess it's probably approaching midday. Feels like the morning. All right. So getting through a little over 10 laps in now. is quieted down but I'm okay with that it looks like the car behind me actually caught me quite a bit in that last lap so I can't relax just yet 
but I'm not going super slow. I'm doing mid 119s. That's what I feel comfortable with, honestly. Should mention as well, I made this setup myself for this car, so it's it's based on the default setup with a few changes. So I probably could get a better setup for the car, but it's kind of fun doing it myself, seeing how good I can be at both driving and mechanicking, if that's a word. know their screen name from the community. It also says the car behind me, oh there we go, 2.4, 2.5 seconds. So another car in front having a few difficulties, it'd be great to get around them and get into the top five. I would feel very good about a top five finish for my first, <laughs> first real race online. Ooh, backwards car too. I don't know if that's a lap down car or somebody that was up front. It's a Matra. I know a few of the quick guys are racing Matras. So stuff starting to come into play here about a quarter into this one. Got to remember it's a long race. Everybody will have their own issues at various stages. He's going to try to be consistent overall. This isn't a sprint race. There's no heroics. I'm mostly talking about this for myself. <laughs> need to just try to be consistent. See, like that car is jumping in the dirt. You can't race like that for too long until something will go wrong. At least in my opinion. through turn one then so about the same distance back from this car in front I would imagine when he's just touching the dirt everywhere hard to say if that's net code though it could be all for little I know I could be kicking up dirt everywhere as well for everybody else curbing and still do all right coming out of the corner luckily it doesn't damage the car got a slow one up there so maybe coming along some lap traffic for the first time still doing mid to low 19s front there kicking up some dirt. I think it's a lap car, I would imagine. You don't quite know and it's somewhat realistic. It's gonna give me the inside lane. Thankfully I'll stay to the inside. second gear then <laughs> all over the place got a little bit too wide there and hit the dirt car behind 
one's still floating around three seconds there, so we're about the same pace. We just have to be consistent here. Yeah, doesn't this version of Goodwood look amazing? It came out not too long ago. Basically redone, reskinned. It looks awesome. I love these new texture sets that are uh, coming out for GPL. purple sector there okay sometimes I find I go quickest when I'm not even really thinking tough to say if the car in front made a mistake on his own while running a little hot there scared myself for a second Car just hanging on with it. It's tough to say if he made his own mistake or maybe he was passing and got run off the circuit. Oh, it did an 18 there. So we're at near qualifying speed now for me. yellow flags up in front get down to second gear gotta compromise my lap a little bit here wow you really only get the la yellow flags at the last second oh smoking engine there so making a position I think maybe We'll see. I don't know if those guys were laps down or not. It'd be really, really great to get into the top five. It'd be better to do it on my own uh, passing. Whoa, car in front, spinning out. Whew, you came back on the track too. Luckily, I cut towards the inside. That might have been the guy I was following there for so many laps. Calm down a little bit. Up to fourth position then. Okay. Not exactly me doing anything, but just driving around, trying to be consistent. So up to fourth here. 28 laps to go. I said I just got a, a donation. I can't quite read it in the moment. I will look at it after the race, but I appreciate it so much. Down a second gear, then just nose it around these corners. It's just gotta collect myself. When things get hectic like that, your heart rate will go up, and then you just gotta get back in the zone. There's no reason I have to drive any differently now. I didn't hit anything. The car is exactly how it was a couple of laps ago. It's just I'm got heightened awareness of what's going on. So completing that lap, so P4, I'm about four seconds or so off of the car in front. That might be the one I can just see there. So we're in, <laughs> oh my God, we're in shot of a podium, maybe. I don't have anybody catching me really. These two behind me are, are there, but as long as I don't make any mistakes, I don't know if they're gonna catch me. didn't do second gear there surely would have gone off the track braking in these cars so much easier than in the 55s but you still got to use that engine to slow the thing down a car off the circuit there 
I don't know if that's a slow car or the guy in front of me. We'll see here in a second. Just get it through the chicane. Twenty-six laps left. Getting close to halfway. They're dropping. Ah, P3! Oh my god! <laughs> Alright, P3 doesn't mean anything. Pretend like I'm in tenth still. So the cars in front are having quite a lot of trouble. Tough to say if they uh, also, maybe they had damage from earlier incidents, but it all compounds. It's a Grand Prix, it's not a sprint. All right, so P3, I'm 20 seconds off the leaders though, I think, which is insane. Those guys are so quick. I think it's Yannick up there in the lead. same thing here as the guy in front of me did. So easy though. I do not fault them at all. It's I'm a moment away from crashing myself. Oh, and I hit the wall. All right, the suspension seems straight, but I barely I nicked that barrier, that stupid wall <laughs> coming through the chicane. All right, car's turning still, so I might have gotten away with it. Might have got away with that, but I can't be doing things like that if I'm going to finish this race. There's still more than halfway to go, so it's a long one. This might be the longest race I've done in GPL in quite a while. Going to run a little wide, too. Okay, collect it up. <laughs> so things falling apart a little bit for me on this lap, but we'll just try to get right back in the groove. Pulled out another second on the car behind, but surely I will have lost some of it on this lap. Can still see him back there. Alright, coming into the chicane again, try to steer clear of these walls. Giving myself a little extra room that time. Oh, and I have Albrecht behind me now. So that was the guy in front of me before who was pulling away ever so slightly before he spun out there. So he is, I think, quicker than me on a given lap. Ooh, he's just 1.1 sec uh, 1.7 seconds. He's going to try to take my podium away from me. steady. I think if I hold it, you know, pretty steady, it'll be hard to pass somebody. A lot of counter steering on the entry there. You can hear the car behind me. So 24 laps to go, we're gonna to come to halfway this time by. What a, what a fun half of the race it's been. Happy to have done half of it <laughs> successfully. Ooh, I can see another car up there. Probably a lapped car. I have a feeling the two in front are quite good at what they do. So coming across the line then, It's almost worse to have gotten into a podium spot and then lose it than to never get up there at all. I really want to hold on to this P3, but I'm not going to jeopardize my race for it. Oh, slowing down a little too early there. on me now. He's driving one of the Lotuses. So I 
Mr. Albrecht. Pulling up on me. He's got a good draft. He's going to try to go to the inside here. Nope, he's going to back out of it. Worried that <laughs> he'll run into the back of me. I hope not. front of him for at least one more lap. It's definitely quicker than me though. He's got the slipstream down these straightaways or the, <laughs> these fast sections, flat out sections, which is definitely going to help him stay close. up on a slow car I think. It's pretty quick actually. Ooh, running a little wide, just trying to get back on the throttle. Ooh. And I don't see anybody behind me. Maybe he went off the circuit. Yeah, he's definitely not there. So outlasting once again the competition. So we pull up on another car here. Give him plenty of space coming into the end of the lap. I think I passed this car once before. He's gonna pull to the inside, I hope, and let me by. Thank you very much, kind, kind sir. What? All right, <laughs> take a weird entry into T1, but sticking through it. Okay, so Albrecht, yeah, seven seconds behind now, so something happened to him behind me. So I've got <laughs> at least a few laps here to uh, try to calm back down. 21 laps to go total. He definitely has enough time to catch me again. He is quite a bit quicker, I think. there in the chicane and just lop off the front tire. I totally have not done that before in practice. All right, so it was a 120, but I had to pass that slow car, so I'll chalk it up to that bad T1. I love the feeling of the F2 car. It's down on horsepower, clearly, from the... Uh, bigger F1 cars, but it does make it a little more enjoyable to drive for a long time. It's a little less threatening of a car to kill you. I find I can race it closer to my potential for a, you know, a longer time than the uh, 67s. I can be you know, pretty quick on a lap for a 67, but to race it, you got to really back down I think last weekend when I did the full season, you probably, if any of you were here, you saw that quite a bit, just kind of pacing myself through different races, partly because I did 11 races in one, one stream, but also because you just can't race at 100% in those cars. Well, I'm going to run a little wide then. All right, able to get it back on the track though. So Albrecht is five seconds behind me. If I can just do pretty good laps, 120s are not going to cut it. If I can just do pretty good laps, hopefully I can just keep the gap up enough. But if he gets within a second of me or two seconds of me again, he's going to get that draft. The slipstream. And then it'll suck right up behind me. Ooh, he's seven seconds now. Okay. So I've actually hold, held station with him. 
getting used to how the timing works here. It updates at odd times. I'm about a, a minute off of the leader, so I might actually get lapped in this race. I will tell you that I'm not super disappointed <laughs> that I would do one lap less of the whole Grand Prix, but it'd be crazy to think that uh, I could finish on the podium but be a lap down. And really, up to this point, knock on wood, have not had any major incidents you know, with myself. That's just how much quicker some, some of these guys are at GPL. It's absolutely insane. Ooh, up on the curb there. Just under seven seconds now. Looks like he might be in a battle though with St. Cyr behind him, so. Hopefully uh, they interact with each other for a few laps here. Bad entry, quite slow. Just get the car back on the line. Pretend like it never happened. 18 laps to go. So we're getting through it. <laughs> 46 laps sounds like a lot, but then you're in here and it flies by. Shifting down a second a little early. I want to do it for this late apex there. All right. So P3, I don't know how I'm in P3. 17 laps to go. Benefiting off of others, misfortune. Oh, it looks like St. Cyr got around Albrecht. So more swapping position. I don't know how fast St. Cyr is, though. So I'll have to watch that now that they're clear of Albrecht. <laughs> okay. Well, that was a quite aggressive line. I nipped the grass and you could feel the car just jostle itself. Running a little hot there, able to get back on the racing line. These cars are quite forgiving. A lot of these little mistakes I'm making would mean an off in the uh, full F1 cars. And I'm seeing Bot in front of me, T-Bot, he, 13 seconds, he was up to 20, 30 seconds. So did they have a problem as well? Don't see any cars, I haven't seen any yellow flags. Oh, I see a whole gaggle though, gosh. Poor line that time through the chicane. Come across the line. I think I've pulled in quite a lot on second place. Not, was not, <laughs> not thinking that would happen. 13 seconds now. There must be a, a group of lapped cars ahead to get through. Sixteen laps to go. Ran it a little deep, <laughs> kind of overreacted on the brakes, but luckily I didn't loop the car or anything. Just gonna make sure I don't uh, outbreak myself into any of these corners. So I do have a couple cars in front of me. I think they're the lapped cars that I gotta get past. Looks like Keonix out 46 seconds in the lead. Congrats to him. <laughs> that's that's so impressive. I knew he was quick, but I wasn't I've never raced against any of these guys, so. Oh, 
up through fifth gear then. Down a fourth. Second for this corner here. Some squiggly skid marks on the inside of the track. Back up to 14 seconds to the car in front. So I bet you Bot was uh, held up by these cars. Allowed me to close in on him. It's three, three slower cars I gotta pass, I think. Fifteen laps though. So we're getting down to it. Ooh, four cars. Looks like one really slow car. Alright, so I'm absolutely gonna take my time here. I know I've got St. Cyr closing in behind me, but be uh, a certain doom to crash at this stage. Crashing alone, there's a chance that you'll be able to pull away again. Crashing with another car, it's pretty much certain race done. Should be very unfortunate in this stage of the Grand Prix. Fourth, then <laughs> really up on the wheel there. So I'm turning 120s. I wanted to be a little quicker than this, but this is gonna be a slow one with these three. Yeah, this is why I closed in on second place so much for sure. No yellow flag, or no blue flags being shown, of course. Oh, a car all the way on the grass. Two cars on the grass. Gosh. Come around the outside, please. Give me enough room. There we go. BMW with a red helmet. Thank you. It's actually the better side to go on. All right, making around two of them, two of the three. Slowing down quite a lot though. It's going to give St. Cyr a chance here to catch me. Down a fourth, third, second. Got one more car. I think it's a Cooper in front of me. Love driving the Cooper. Somehow, I have not missed a gear in the race. Knock on wood. Well, it looks like six places a lap down now, too, so Yannick is coming. Utter dominance. Nice and easy there through the chicane. I've only got about 3.2 seconds on St. Cyr. Slap car is not going to let me through easily, I guess. It's a 19.5. Got about 5 seconds now, so I pulled out a little bit that lap. Oh, 4 seconds. I don't get how it updates the times. <laughs> it's confusing. Alright, will he let me by if I get close? I don't want to get too close. I'd rather you just pull off the circuit. <laughs> there we go. Thank you very much. in the grass there. Down a third gear. Second there. Grab it in the middle of the turn. Kind of unconventional to shift midway through a corner, but it's what feels best. Oh, I got way too close to the wall that time. 
All right, 11 laps left to go here at Goodwood. Starting to feel it a little bit now. Third position somehow, but just barely. I've got a, I think a Ferrari coming up behind me in what seems like pretty capable hands, so it's gonna be a uh, all out to the finish to hold this podium position. Still can't overdo it, just gotta drive fast, but in my means here. people in here. What's everybody doing on a Saturday? Watching a, a little bit of a 22 year old game. It's still so much fun. Down to third gear. Had to correct my slide there. Ten laps then. Coming up on a Matra, I think. Down a second. It was kind of a weird line that time. About four seconds up on fourth place, so it's holding. It's holding. I'll go to the outside. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I hope that actually means thank you and not me flipping them off, because it definitely did a great job of getting out of the way. So no, uh, no tough feelings to that left car. Down a second. Oof through the late apex there. <laughs> really no apex, there was no apex that time. Just dabbing it in the dirt a little bit. Oh, looks like St. Cyr probably got held up behind me. Thankfully, all right, T1. Just a lot of wheel input there to get the car turned, shift the weight. Oop, touch the dirt. It's gonna make me run wide. I'm pushing, pushing a little bit. I gotta try to stay in front of St. Cyr here, keep my podium. Oh, running a little hot into the final complex. Gonna run wide. Damn, first mistake of the race, really. Oh no, I thought I was gonna be able to squeak through there. Damn, damn, damn. I could have got the car back on the track earlier, but I thought I was gonna be able to cut wide, come back in. So I lose the position. How's the car gonna feel? Okay, I'm able to turn it. I over revved the hell out of it in first gear though. Uh, so losing that podium, but I don't know if all hope is lost here. Hopefully I didn't hurt the car too much. Uh, that's absolutely my, my mistake. I was due for one. Everybody else has had a few mistakes, except for Yannick, of course. Somehow the car's okay, so I don't know. If I got away with something there, or I definitely got away with something. As long as the engine doesn't blow from over revving. Let me see though. I'm still within sight of third place. Oh, 
it was all going so well, too. <laughs> Under 10 laps to go. It happens to you the best of them, though. So up through fourth gear. So three seconds back on St. Cyr for a podium spot. I gave it away. Can I get it back though? Got a few laps to try, <laughs> but I'm the next car to go a lap down as well. So might have one lap less. on my mirrors for Yannick. He'll be coming soon. It's only about 20 seconds off of me now. Oh, I'm so lucky that the car actually feels okay here. I hit the hedge there. I thought it was the grass for a second. I don't know how I did that though. <laughs> I've been taking this corner so easily, taking, uh, giving up a lot of time, and I just outbroke myself. I feel like I'm pulling in on St. Cyr. I don't want to get overly optimistic, but they look a little bit closer than previous laps we'll see here. Down a third. Whoa. So pulled in a second on that lap. Did a 118 right back at it. So I should be within slip streaming distance or just about there. Oh, I can see a car behind me. Could that be Mr. Yannick? 10 seconds back to fifth place, so I think it's gotta be Yannick. I don't wanna hold him up at all. But I also don't wanna lose time here to St. Cyr. Yannick's going to be quick. <laughs> He's so quick. How is he that quick? Must feel pretty good lapping an entire field during a, uh, an online race. Pretty much an entire field. He's going to get the whole podium. Whoa, setting a purple first sector. I'm trying. I'm trying to get closer to St. Cyr here. feel a little redeemed if I can get the position back, but okay, on the front straightaway, I think I'm going to have to let Yannick by. <laughs> almost, almost running wide there. Alright, I got the blue flag. It's for me. There you go. Take it. I did that on purpose. 100%. Let me see if I can get his slipstream at least through the first sector. <laughs> it's just laying down rubber. So I gave up a ton of time to St. Cyr, but he's going to have to let Yannick buy too. Can learn a couple secrets from the master himself.
said a purple sector there, so <laughs> learning something. So just a few laps to go. I don't know if it's going to show me four laps, if that's with one lap down or not. Two more laps then, since I'm a lap down. Two more laps, we'll see how Yannick gets by St. Cyr here and if I can benefit at all from it. Well, I'm running a little wide on the exit. I did my quickest <laughs> lap of the race, I think, on that last one, but St. Cyr is very quick as well. Oh, I've got to run a little wide. Damn. Oh, and he runs into the grass too. Oh my gosh, that was my chance. <laughs> Coming up on a very slow Matra. getting a little sloppy here right to the end of the race 44 laps 43 laps into it all right so coming I think to start my last lap of this race can do anything here just got to put in a hell of a lap but I also don't want to throw away the whole race up to this point came close enough to doing that a few laps to go cars under steering quite a bit blame the mechanic oh wait that's me as well tricky corner to go. Doesn't look like St. Cyr is going to throw this one away. But we'll see here. Down a third. Down a second here. Coming through that double apex. Ooh, touching the dirt a little bit. Then we'll come to the chicane for the last time. St. Cyr able to hold that in front of me, but a P4 overall, I think, for <laughs> I'm happy with it for my first online GPL race. I'm also happy the sim lasted the whole time. Congrats to St. Cyr for that third place. And of course for Yannick, the uh, undisputed winner of that one. Absolutely. Mr. Bot in second place there. Whew. Yeah, one, one mistake pretty much. Um, oh, my God. Maybe I'm doing a bad thing by slowing down there. Oh, I think I hit St. Cyr. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I gotta remember there's procedures here, so I think I gotta go back to the pits. Thanks everybody for saying good job. <laughs> it was okay. I think uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Ah, oh, Ralph, thank you so much. I think I saw you were the one that donated during the race too. I gotta, uh, I gotta go check back on that, but I appreciate that so much. Um, Overall, I would, I would give myself uh, an 8 out of 10 for that. I think it was a silly mistake for me to uh, throw away third position like I did. But um, overall, I'm happy with the rest of it. I think uh, Start played it nice and safe, and I drove pretty conservatively the whole time just to get through. I was going to have a podium because of that, and if I had just stuck to my rule of uh, driving safe, I would have come away with it but fourth place nothing to be upset about a few points I guess we'll come down here to the end of the lap come to the pits 
gonna see if I can actually snag the replay from this too. Hopefully the server doesn't close before I can do that. Come now into the pit lane. All right, exit the car. Ooh, can I exit? There we go. Let me save this replay real quick. It's a memory for me. GPL online, please. GPL online. Okay, so let me, uh, <clears throat> I'll export the results too. But it looks like, um, I know my face is covering it. So this is what I'll do. Um, I don't want to exit just yet. <laughs> let me just say great race, great race. Oh, looks like the server ended. Okay, so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna take a quick break, uh, but I want to come back and just take a look at the results and everything, and um, just think a little bit about what that was. Uh, but a good race overall. Had a lot of fun doing it. I can't say enough for uh, Bo and and everybody for inviting me to do it. I know this is a uh, a, a league and everything that I got to uh, take part in today. So very appreciative that they would uh, let me join in and let everybody come along with me. All right, so I'm gonna take a very quick break. I'll be back in a minute and then uh, we'll take a look at the results. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Yannick's telling me I did a great race, but he uh, he obviously did a better race. There's a little bit of a chat room after the race. Um, so I want to pull up the uh, the results and all that. We can take a quick digest through everybody's race and what what went on. Um, all right, <clears throat> let me show you me <laughs> for a second. I'm just typing away in a little chat. After the race, everybody get, jumps in a little chat just to uh, say goodbye. Uh, online results. <clears throat> so let me, uh, let me pull this up on the screen here. Thanks everybody for coming. 300 people, man. That's crazy. Uh, 
Um, all right, so. Go back to this view. Let me just get the old uh, window capture here going. We'll take a look at the uh, final results for everything. But I just throw this on the screen. I want this one. There we go. All right. So let's take a look through <laughs> the results. So Mr. Yannick, oh, that was practice time. So 117. I mean, I think my quickest lap during the race was a one, uh, one eighteen four or something. Also, celebratory polar. Please sponsor me. That would be excellent. Local, local to me. Starting grid though. Okay, so Mr. Bot, T Bot. Uh, was on the pole, Albrecht. So, oh, Albrecht, wow. He must have had some damage or something then, because if I was getting past, uh, past Albrecht, then with a 117, something must have happened. But uh, Yannick started third. St. Cyr started in front of me as well. So I started back here, P8, 118.34. Happy with that qualifying time. That was fine fine with me so let's look at the official standings see if I can zoom in on this a little bit all right so Yannick wins the race <laughs> with a uh, average speed of 109.4 miles an hour he was flying very impressive Yannick congratulations as well Ted bot or T bot I don't know if it's Ted T bot please uh, tell me what your name is if I if I got it wrong but in the Matra okay finishing 38 seconds behind I think that's a very very good <laughs> result to stay that close to uh, to Yannick to begin with so St. Cyr then in third place, and myself, Jay Demaray, uh, back here in fourth. I could have had that third, I think, but, you know, I'm still happy even though I, uh, even though I threw the car off with, like, ten laps to go, I think, uh, that stuff happens, so I'm not going to get too upset about it. <clears throat> Tony Bot, okay, thank you. Tristan? Tristan. Tony. <laughs> what is it? It's Tristan, I think. Um... So we got Hammonds behind me, Down, Bush, Hig Higdon, McKeels, Outlaw. I raced Outlaw the other night in that uh, that fun race I did, the first, the very first one I actually did. And then looking down to the uh, the folks who didn't finish, Albrecht. Oh, I guess Albrecht crashed. That was 16 to go. It's, that is frustrating. Maybe more fr frustrating here that Gortz is out five laps to go. That's crazy. So overall, and fastest lap by Yannick, 116.98. Cut that out. That's too quick. So a great race overall. I'll take a look through the replay if there's anything uh, later. I'll take a look through it, see if there's anything uh, interesting to, um, I guess, to come back, back and maybe cut up a little video or something too. But super fun race to thank, thank again. So Bo Bruce, who uh, I think runs the league, or Bruce Bow. Tell me your first name, actually, because I think I feel like I keep getting it wrong. But I very much appreciate you inviting me to uh, to this today. It was a lot of fun. I'll, I'll see about doing more in the future. Um, Lasse for helping me out over the week here, get everything hooked up, make sure I knew all the uh, the rules and all that, and then all the racers, especially Yannick. Uh, but thanks for letting me intrude on your little uh, your fun race. It was a lot of fun. Michael, what update did I use for my 67 Nürburgring track? Oh, man. There's a bunch of updates in there. I think if you download download the 19, uh, 1955 version and um, 
that comes with all those 1955 tracks I discovered recently are actually every season, uh, but they're all uh, they're all um, all like done up. So I think it's mostly that one. I have done some personal editing to uh, um, done some personal editing to all of them. I think these guys might be doing racing again. Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna do another race. That's crazy. If you got done 46 laps there and you want to do another race. Um, but yeah, overall, fun, fun time. So, I appreciate everybody watching. I think we'll call it here for the, uh, for the old stream. Got a video I'm doing, uh, or I already did, it's coming out tomorrow. And, uh, I think it, it'll be fun for, for everybody to watch, so. Uh, am I gonna do more online races? Yeah, I mean, I think so. Um... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I'll fully get into the league, but that was a lot of fun doing it. So uh, we'll see. We'll see for the future. Yeah, but thanks everybody for coming in. Once again, a lot of fun. I'll do more streams and stuff uh, coming in the future, but that is it for now. So appreciate everybody. Have a great rest of your uh, weekend and everything. Go drink a beer. I'm going to do the same, <laughs> but I'll see you all later.